Hey Libra. All right, let's do a bonus reading for you. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. Let's see what's going on with you at this time. Give me some messages for my Libras, please. Anything significant for Libra? Give me some messages. What's going on with my Libras at this time? Oops, okay. All right. Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands in the Chariot. Okay, so lots of success coming your way. This could be career success for those of you. You could be getting a promotion. You could be getting a pay raise. You are moving up in some way. All right. You also kind of know what direction you're headed in. So that's another thing that's separating you from a group of people. There's a lot of people who are very confused about where they're headed in life. You could be very sure of yourself. You kind of just, you, you, one thing you're not indecisive about during this time, Libra, is where you're headed when it comes to your career or your business or how you want to be successful. All right. I feel like you're stepping on people's necks here with these boots. <laughs> I also feel like you're very fashionable these days, so nobody can touch you with fashion. Um, and yeah, it feels like you're getting your way, like when it comes to your career, your money, your business. Um, again, fashion sense is impeccable, so there's bound to be some people who are just not feeling you. All right, five of wands, nine of cups, first and foremost is the reason why. I feel like no matter what, you are being very spoiled by the universe. Manifestations just keep rolling in for you. You keep getting what you want. There's someone over here with the five of wands. This person is feeling very, they're feeling some type of way, okay? Someone could be feeling like, why you, not them? All right? Let's see how you're feeling about this. What's your current attitude or mood or tone as this is coming in, the nine of cups? And the five of wands, what's your current attitude, tone, mood? Tell me about Libra. All right, justice. All right, so you feel like this is fair because on the flip side, what people may not know is that you have um, went through a lot in life. All right, you went through a lot this year. You went through a lot the last couple of months. So this is like your turnaround. You're also in a very healed place. So you feel like everything is coming together as it should. You've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of shadow work. You've been through a lot. You've healed from those things. You deserve this goodness coming towards you. So you feel like it's well-deserved. So if a lot of things are just coming towards you, if you're being spoiled by the universe, if you're getting a lot of blessings, you feel like that's exactly what I deserve, yeah star and the hierophant because what you've endured in the past has been very hard to heal from and once you're finally reaching um the end of the tunnel here of your healing it's like i deserve this good stuff okay i, I deserve this good shit is what i'm hearing um you really don't give a damn what a hater has to say okay but you do have a hater here five of wands this could be someone in your inner circle by the way someone's feeling like why you not them also, you could be going to a costume party or you're throwing a costume party. I feel like you have a really good costume. Again, fashion. Fashion is just your way of, you know, I feel like you just kind of step on people's necks with fashion. It comes easily to you. It's almost like if you look at this person, someone's fashion sense for Halloween is just to dress very slutty. There's nothing wrong with that because I kind of plan on doing the same thing. <laughs> so, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like you have a more put together outfit. Someone's hating on that. You don't really see this person. You're kind of just focused on what's working for you, what's happening for you. Again, you have a clear direction set forward for you and you're making a lot of progress. This person's very worried about you and why you're winning in life and why they're not winning in life, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. Hmm. 
Who is this person? I'm sorry. I'm kind of curious. Kind of straying away from the format of this reading, but who is this person? Who is this person for Libra? Tell me more about this person who's kind of hating on you or hating on your success or hating on your uh, maybe attention that you're drawing in. Who is this person? All right, King of Wands. So it's a masculine energy. It could be a fire sign, a masculine fire sign. Um, this could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? This could also be someone who is in competition. Like you always notice this person is always striving to be their best, okay? This is also someone who is in a leadership role or they like to be the leader of things, okay? So this is someone who likes to take um, over things. So if you're throwing a party, this could be someone that's in your ear and telling you how you should throw your party. You need to have this type of food. You need to have this type of decorations. You need to invite these type of people. Um, if you are trying to, if you have been doing things in regards of your career or business, someone has been trying to, almost like a bossy energy, like, oh, you need to sell this in your business. You need to office, offer this service. This is what's hot right now, okay? Or if this is at work, um, someone's telling you, you should go for this role. I think you'd be best suited for this role. You need to do this. So someone's kind of jealous because they're used to being number one. And I feel like you're number one, okay? You're number one. Also the four of swords, this is who this person is as well. So very disorganized. Again, with the chariot, you are very organized. You have a clear direction. This is someone who's very like late at everything that they do, at least in this current energy. Um, they're not really well put together. They don't really have, they're not well organized. Um, if they're competing with you, they're not, um, they're not prepared basically, okay? So that's what I have here. All right, so yeah. I also feel like this person is not even the best dressed or not the best with their hygiene. This is the type of person who picks out their outfit like maybe five minutes before work, okay? Um, I don't know. Someone's house is not really put together right now. A very disorganized energy, very scattered all over the place. So this person could be either they're very frantic that they're losing against you or they have other issues going on in their life or they're not healed because I feel like a big reason of why you're winning in life right now is because you healed. You took the time to heal from something. You sat down and you healed from something. So let's see what's going on here. The nine of cups. So you could be very happy because you're getting a lot of good news. Back to back good news. Okay. I feel like a lot of good news coming your way. Like nothing is being denied towards you anything that you set yourself forward to anything that you want you kind of just get if you feel it's kind of like a lucky streak that you're on right now but it's not luck it's like um manifestation all right what's the nine of cups sorry if i'm yelling guys my dishwasher is on and i don't know if it's going to pick up in the background all right, the fool. So yeah, you also are winning because you are you know how to take risk. You know how to be different. You dare to be different, okay? So someone keeps trying to tell you to like, someone keeps trying to put you in this box of what they think you should do, but they won't even do it for themselves. So it's like, I'm not gonna follow your advice. I'm gonna be different and I'm gonna do me and I'm gonna take risk and I'm gonna do something else and you're gonna see me succeed, all right, so someone also feels very spited because they gave you some advice, you didn't take it, and you still succeeded. Let's see what else is here. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Yeah, Hangman, okay? So you're kind of like, um, Hangman is like you're good where you're at. Someone keeps trying to change you. That's another thing that you would know who this person is. They keep trying to offer you advice to change who you are. They keep trying to tell you you should do this, you know? It's almost like you tell this person your favorite food or your favorite restaurant, and they're like, oh, this restaurant's so much better. Next time you're hungry, you need to eat here. And it's like, well, I just told you my favorite restaurant is this. So when I'm off, on this day, I'm gonna eat here, but thanks, okay? So you're kind of not changing your perception when it comes to whatever this person's telling you. You think for yourself, all right? Now, five of wands. Now, 
this person's feeling spited by you and five of wands is petty drama so there is some petty drama coming your way with this person because they're kind of throwing like a adult temper tantrum so what's going on with the five of wands This is the person who is like, oh, Lord. You know, you ever like were in school and you're like playing house and you had that child who would go tell the teacher like, oh, Libra won't be what I tell them to be. Libra won't play the aunt. Libra won't play the dad. Libra won't play the mom. Libra won't play the dog like I told them to be. And the teacher is like, okay, but what are you playing? Well, of course, I'm the dad or I'm the mom. Okay, well, Libra doesn't want to be the dog. Okay, but I want them to be the dog. Like, excuse me? <laughs> you tripping. Six of wands. Okay, so how this person is going to bring petty drama your way, they're going to um, bring attention to themselves in a moment that's supposed to be something exciting for you. I feel like, again, you're not very worried. This could be equivalent to someone dressing slutty at the Halloween party. This could be your party. You know, you're, it's your day or whatever. Maybe it's your birthday. You're, you're throwing a Halloween party for your birthday. Someone's dressing slutty to try to gain all of the attention. Okay, what else? This could be a Leo, by the way. I didn't want to say it, but now I got to say it. It's being confirmed. Because we have Jupiter and Leo and also Saturn and Leo. Okay, so this could be a Leo. Page of Cups as well. That's an interesting energy. Okay, so Page of Cups is interesting. Someone could be... This is weird. Okay, so I'm going to throw two things out there. There's something I'm not really sure of, but I'm still going to throw it out there. Someone could be making a big apology at something to, to, to for like... Um, Okay, someone could be making an apology out in the open to like still shine from you, which is weird. I don't know what that's about. Like say someone stops speaking to like a friend of yours and everybody's gonna be at this function. They're going to apologize at this function, very sincere, but it's not sincere. It's just to steal the spotlight, to reconcile with someone who maybe is has um, took a liking to you. So it's kind of weird there. Um, if this person owes you an apology, they're going to apologize to you in public and not in private. You know how some people say it's better for someone to apologize to you in public, how they disrespected you in public? I feel like this person's been making slight jabs, so they need to apologize in, in, like, in private, but someone's gonna try to do it in, in it's almost like sympathy. Okay, it's a sympathy thing. It's a sympathy thing for sure. And a magician, so it's manipulative or it's like changeable energy, like page of swords. Like someone is watching how other people react to them being sincere or sweet or apologetic. Like, am I drawing the crowd? Am I drawing in the favor of the crowd? You know, like when something happens at a play or in a movie and it really like, takes the heart of the crowd and everybody's like oh like someone's looking for that moment okay but it's, it's weird hmm all right let's get the outcome this person's not a fan of you because they're a fan of you do you understand that this person's not a fan of you because they're a fan of you this person's used to having admirers or fans or they're used to just um like directing people and you kind of don't have to do that and people follow you you know you didn't have to direct anyone to follow you people just like your vibe um and you're getting what you want right now someone doesn't like that so what's the outcome here it's like someone's like oh libra i need to talk to you and then they pull you and they're like, y'all can come too, y'all can come too, y'all can come with us too. It's like, why is everybody coming with us? I don't understand. All right, the outcome is a strength card. So you are just not going to react, period. Six of pentacles as well. Um, someone is trying to take, there's a lot of generosity coming your way. Someone wants that generosity towards them. They want sympathy. So you're getting praise or you're getting like likes or you're getting something. Someone wants to take that through sympathy. 
and we have the strength card you're not going to react you're going to hold back your true feelings inside if you want to call this person out if you want to keep it real if you want to roll your eyes you're going to keep it within you're going to fight really hard to keep it within and just play nice okay the sun with the strength clarify that Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, because you don't have any reason to um, react. Like, this person's trying to, um, almost like an energy exchange or a destiny, destiny swap with you. Like, someone wants you to get stooped to their level, but you have no reason to stoop to their level because you're winning in life. So, you know, joke's on them, okay? <laughs> All right, good for you, Libra. Let's go ahead and get some oracle tell me more about the situation for libra my mom likes to say this phrase she likes to say this phrase when people are just like when they annoy her she never used that word annoy but when people annoy my mom she always says like i gave them nothing <laughs> And so it's funny because I'm hearing that, like you give them nothing, okay? When someone's desperate for attention, you know, you give them nothing because you're in this era of abundance, so why would you? And let's see what else. Cassette. Cassette is like same old song with this person. Same old song is always a problem. They're never satisfied. They're always screaming desperation. Even if you were to... Um, play into this person's ego, it would never be satisfied. Their ego would never be filled. So you give them nothing, okay? Healing heart. Remember, there was that big energy of you healing. You healed from something. Someone needs to go and do that themselves and maybe they can find fulfillment like you have. So healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Also, maybe because you are healed is how you're so mature about this situation and you're able to just kind of like give someone nothing and not give them, you know, what you really, really want to say. Not, it's almost like you want to give someone the truth, but you know, the truth hurts. So you're like, this person's already hurting. Let me just keep my mouth shut, you know? All right, abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Like I said, you're in this very big manifestation energy. If someone was to shift you into a different mindset or energy, you wouldn't be winning as much as you are right now. So I think you're playing this very beautifully. Gratitude and bliss, okay? Even gratitude for this person, right? Because they're kind of keeping your name alive. Like they're so desperate. They're so, they're such a hater, but they're such a fan. They're kind of keeping you like on top. We have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. I don't know if that's you or this person. Could be this person because if you leave them kind of stuck on stupid, they probably will be replaying that, that um, incident over and over that whole night, the whole week until they see you again. All right, let's get some last words and we'll end it. This went on way too long. This is supposed to be a short read, but we had some things to get out, Libra, okay? So let's see. Last words for my Libras dealing with this situation. Anything significant to this reading, please allow it to come out. new love okay period so is this an ex doing this to you that's crazy all right what else i'm not surprised though let's see so new love sagittarius look out for a sagittarius perhaps that fire sign could be a sagittarius let's see what else ex like i said so it could be an ex a ex sagittarius a sagittarius who I don't know, you X'd out of your life, doesn't matter. All in the same, too independent. That really does speak about you. You're so independent from the BS. All right, let's see what else. We're on a roll here, so let's see. Great chemistry, hmm. Okay, 
So there could be new love coming in your life that you have great chemistry with. Maybe someone is feeling bothered by that. What else? I'm in love with you. Oh, this is taking a turn. What else can you tell me for Libra, please? That almost feels like attention seeking as well. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if an ex is like pulling you aside, but not really aside because like your family is in earshot or your friends are in earshot and they're like, I'm in love with you. It's like you want sympathy, okay? Pentacle daddy, pentacle mommy, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person. This could be a married man, married woman. This could be someone that has a lot of money as well. Sugar daddy vibes, sugar mommy vibes. We have ride or die. And last but not least, let's just get one more card. Marijuana. Okay. That's interesting. So someone smokes maybe? Bottom of the deck, we have Libra. So this is definitely your reading. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye Libra.